Okay, pet parents, so it's recently been brought to my attention that out of all the heart videos I've done, I have yet to do a video on hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which I think is just unconstitutional. So we are here to rectify that, aren't we? Don't look at me, you made the mistake. Dude, come on, man. Like, you're supposed to have my back. That's why you're in the video. I guess my heart's just not in it. So hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM, while it's a heart disease both of dogs and cats, it's very uncommon in dogs and much more prevalent in cats. If you ever hear somebody talking about cat heart disease, this is probably what they're talking about. So now if we break that big word down, cardiomyopathy just means heart disease. Hypertrophic means thickening. So with this condition, what's happening is the muscles on the inside of the heart are becoming very, very thick, which leads to a lot of problems. As a visual representation, here's a picture of a normal heart cross section. So you can see all four chambers. Now that kind of pinkish thin line that the arrow is pointing to are muscles on the inside of the heart called papillary muscles. And here's a picture of a heart with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. You can see that that thin pink line is much thicker and there's less space on the inside of the heart. And this is what leads to a bunch of problems. When it comes to clinical signs of a HCM, there really aren't any. Most cats do not show any clinical signs and we just happen to diagnose it after hearing a heart murmur. So there are four tools that we can use to help diagnose this condition. The first one is our ears. So if we listen and we hear a murmur, that doesn't always give us much to go on in a cat because about 30% of cats will have a murmur that doesn't mean anything. But if we hear a gallop sound, that lets us know the disease is present. So instead of the heart sounding like your classic lub dub, it sounds like a horse galloping. The second tool are x-rays. Now this isn't the best because the changes with HCM are happening on the inside and we don't always see changes on x-rays even if disease is present. The third test is a blood test called an NT pro BMP test, which if the value is so high, it lets us know that heart disease is present, but doesn't tell us which disease it is. Now the only way to actually diagnose HCM is with an ultrasound of the heart or an echocardiogram. Treatment of HCM may vary slightly from vet to vet, but at the end of the day, it's supportive medications. And we we keep them on those meds until the meds no longer work or unfortunately until the pet spontaneously passes away.